Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If I sound kind of sick right now, I'm really sorry for that and I hope it's not too annoying uh, to listen. But uh, well, it wasn't easy at, at Clash Worlds because now I'm back and well, I got really sick over that time. Um, I don't know, just the trip uh, <laughs> was so like you had to put so much effort into and uh, there was not that much free time. Um, and I will talk about the World Championship a bit more in a second. But first, uh, the first, well, the, the league is starting again. And I thought already, okay, I will push again. And the first day is working actually pretty good or worked pretty good for me. I want to show you a couple of attacks in the background. And meanwhile, I will um, explain a bit more um, what exactly happened behind the scenes in Clash Worlds. And um, yeah, so let's start with the first attack. And I will start explaining or like telling you guys a little bit of a background story. So, um, oh, and one side note, I won't use the Royal Ghost as long as it's out because it's just overpowered and broken and it's just not fun to use it. If I want to be at the top or like somewhere near the top, uh, I need to do it with, without this broken troop. So uh, I, would, I won't use it. Um, I just use Queen Judge Lala because I think it's one of the strongest armies right now. Um, you guys could, so, could see it in the World Championship, a lot of triples were with the Queen Judge Lalo. And so let's get to the World Championship because the event itself was amazing. I think uh, what was really great as well is all of the clashes coming together. Um, it was really great having the interaction with the fans, with everything. It was in overall just a really cool event. And one thing which I thought would be really cool is that Supercell learned over the event, which like what I mean is um, in the beginning they decided to not stream the well, couple of the matches, which I think uh, was a little bit unfortunate. I think it would have been way cooler if they would have streamed every single match. And um, <coughs> sorry. And um, yeah, in the end they, they I don't know, they, they changed their mind. And um, they started streaming a couple of more matches. For example, the match for number three that was actually supposed to happen behind the scenes. So they changed their mind on that, which I think was nice. So they improved over the event, which which was nice. And at the same time, there was a lot of feedback of the community. Uh, we tried to get to Supercell as well as the players because you guys uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever. I had so much feedback for the event, so it was really cool. And one more thing I want to ask for is if you guys have more feedback, like as a viewer or you guys were even in Hamburg, let me know and I will try to collect the feedback and give it um, to Supercell because I felt like it was a really cool first event. Um, I hope there will be many more. That's something which I hope for personally. And um, the event itself for us as a team didn't plan or worked out as, as good as we hoped for. Uh, I mean, we're finished on number four, um, on the spot number four of 40 million players, which participated over the entire year, which is crazy if you think about. But obviously, if you just consider, okay, there were eight teams and you finished on um, place number four, it could have been better, but still, I think it was decent, could have been better. And I think that is the next point on my list because... Our preparation wasn't the best. And I don't mean that we didn't put enough time into that because I think of all teams we put maybe the most, maybe one of the most uh, into this. Uh, I think Nova was bootcamping for 60 days or something like that. So they put in a lot of time. So I don't know um, how much um, they worked over there. Uh, but I think we put enough time in there and a lot of time in this. Um, but I think we approached it wrong, basically. So when we qualified in March, it was a really defensive heavy meta, which means uh, defense was more important than offense. And this changed. Like right now, offense is way more important than defense. And we practice way too much defense. Like we tested our bases and we, the base, uh, our bases itself were really good, but they tried to defend too much. And in the current meta, you need weaknesses in your base, if that makes any sense, which means you need to show your opponent, okay, there are four possible entries, um, choose one of them and then try to defend those entries with changing traps, which means the obvious entries are the baited entries, basically. And what we try to do, we mainly try to fix those entries 
with, I don't know, like moving an air defense so your queen walk is not possible anymore or stuff like this, which wasn't the uh, best idea. And yeah, just in general, I think we prepared wrong or like not optimal. And this cost us in the end uh, heavily because our offense was really weak uh, over the tournament. But except that, the tournament was great. I think especially the moment when we came out on stage in the semifinals was crazy because um, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain this because it's so, it's so hard to explain and I, I think it's really hard to imagine. But if you're coming out there on the stage in like, for a Clash of Clans event, the, the stadium was kind of full. Um, if everyone is cheering for you, it doesn't matter which team came out, but that was the great part about the audience. Everyone was cheering for everyone, and it was great. Just the feeling, I, I won't, I, I don't know, like, I will never ever forget this one moment. Uh, I think it was the best moment I ever had on a Digital Clans live stream, and that was so special. So, I don't know, like, I hope there will be more events just to get once again this feeling which I had in this one moment. So, I hope for it, and uh, the next time we will be better prepared. But um, yeah, in general, the event uh, was really cool. And like I said, if you guys have any feedback, um, please write it in the, in the comments. But except that, I don't have that many more like, information. Um, I could like, go through the, um, the day of us, uh, which, which we had to go through. For example, um, our day basically looked like we had to stay up at around 5.30 a.m. Um, and then the chattel to the... To the arena at 7 a.m. we had to do our planning or like the scouting phase um, until 9 and as soon as like right after 9 we went downstairs backstage and as soon as the um, audience came in we opened the show and basically started our attacks from like around 9 to 12 um, so that was basically the the walkthrough every single time and if you made it to the next round, your afternoon was basically recording already for the next match, like um, interviews, uh, I don't know, like um, films to, to uh, announce the next match, etc. So it was a lot of stress. I think was, that was one of the main reasons why I got so sick now. Um, and yeah, I can already announce I will for sure start streaming Again, as soon as I, I got, um, well, I'm not sick anymore. And yeah, I'm, I'm just happy about what's going to come. Um, and just the event was, was crazy cool. So I hope we didn't disappoint you guys too much. Um, I'm really sorry, especially for my performance. It was super bad. I think my worst tournament, which I ever played, which sucks, but it happens, I guess. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to you guys. And I hope you guys will continue supporting us. And yeah, so thank you so much. Meanwhile, we are seeing my next or my last attack um, from the league day. And uh, yeah, it worked pretty good. Obviously not all of the defenses were maxed, but right now it's super annoying to actually go into the league day because you're getting tripled so many times because of the stupid Royal Ghost. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I will be probably really happy when the Ghost is getting removed because it is so easy to triple with this ghost. It's so freaking annoying, but um, I hope uh, that, like he's getting removed in a couple of days, I think so, so then it's getting back to normal. And until then we have just to, to go through. I hope, uh, or like, I don't know um, if you guys like, like it too much, because like I said, I feel like there is no challenge. Like it's, it's way too easy, um, but I guess that's different from person to person. But yeah, um, trying to keep my queen alive, and this is, this is basically the main idea. One thing for the Queen Church Lalo, and I would do probably a couple of more guides and um, live stream my Legend League attacks, etc. Um, one really important thing is that one of the, the most important things to Queen Charge is actually, sure, the Queen is really important, but the Town Hall is sometimes as important as the enemy Queen. And why is that the case? That's basically kind of simple because you have so many pups and, and minions, etc., which means even if you don't charge the enemy queen, you can still triple. This is pretty much a thing which is not possible with any other strategy. For example, if you queen charge the town hall, that's normally, shown enough, normally already enough to still triple with queen charge Lalo because you can just make the pups 
and the Illuvians invincible and still kill the enemy queen. With for example Hawkers, that's not possible. And this is why Queen Charge Lado is way stronger and this is the reason why we saw pretty much no Queen Charge Hawkers at all at the Cla at, at Clash Worlds. Um, I will I will do like a ranking as well of a couple of strategies which we saw at Clash Worlds as well pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I won't make it too long, too long because I can't speak too long. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry for not being able to speak too long. But um, I hope you guys understand it. And as soon as I'm uh, not singing anymore, I will come back with uh, yeah longer videos again. And thank you so much, guys, for the support. It was incredible. And I will see you guys in the next video.